Hi there, uh, this is Nathan, Naomi's husband, and I wanted to put together a quick video on how to use and set up Google Analytics for your uh, Sensi's personal uh, website. Because we had some questions about that, I think it's a great question, and so I wanted to show you how to get that set up. The first thing though is I wanted to go over kind of why, um, or what is Google Analytics, and then why would someone want to use it. So Google Analytics is a free tool from Google, and you can get to it by simply going in and typing Google Analytics in a search bar. And it is a tool that tracks all of the users that come to your website. And so you see here, it's one of the first ones that comes up. You can get to it, google.com forward slash analytics. So it tracks everyone that comes to uh, your website and what they do when they are on your website. So what led them there? So did they do a Google search? <clears throat> Excuse me. Did they do a Google search? And uh, what term did they, did they use to find your website? Did they click on an ad? And that's how they got to your website. Um, for, a lot of the, for a lot of you girls, you're doing YouTube videos, which are great. And so it shows, okay, so they came from this, so they came from YouTube. And then when they came to my site, what did they do? Did they land on the place where um, my video directed them to go to? And then what did they do after that? So it lets you know kind of what are users doing on your website. So think of it a lot like uh, kind of like a little video camera in your store where you could look at what all the customers were doing, you know, what sections were most of the customers going to, what sections were most of the customers trying to uh, look at products, and then, you know, and one of two things, you know, what are they buying and then what's making them leave, right? So maybe there's things that they don't like and you can start trying to figure out, you know, why they've dropped off. So that kind of leads into the reasons why you'd want to use it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a stuffed up nose. I hope that doesn't come uh, across uh, in the recordings. But um, so the reasons why you'd want to use it is because you, you're you going to be sending all of this traffic to your website and you want to know what the users are doing. Are they confused? Are they looking at a couple of products and then taking off? Or are they you know, looking at the product and then proceeding through to the checkout cart? Things like that. So Google Analytics helps you know um, what's driving them to your website. So if you're doing a lot of like Google AdWords, it lets you know, okay, they're clicking on that ad and that ad brought them to the site and then they're going ahead and buy. So that ad is working well for me where this ad I'm doing isn't working very well for some reason. They're clicking on the ad, but then they click off the page and they don't proceed through to checkout. Um, if you were, you know, that's Google AdWords. If you're using YouTube, it helps you know how that flow goes. So those are all good reasons to want to use uh, Google Analytics. And the best part is it's free from Google. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up and install it on your personal website, which is really easy, and then show you where you go um, to access the data and look at it like in real time. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing that you have to have in order to use Google Analytics is a Google account. So step one would be to sign up for a Google account. I'm gonna sign out of mine and show you how you would be able to do that if you don't have one already. So if I just came in here and I just went to uh, sign in, okay, it's gonna it's gonna come to a page that looks like this, and it's gonna say sign in or create an account for free. So if you do not have a Google account yet, you need to get one, and you would just follow the instructions here where it says create an account for free, right over here on the left hand side. I have one, so I'm just gonna sign back into mine. <coughs> Okay, so now that I'm signed into my uh, Google account, Google has a suite of tools, and a lot of them are uh, mentioned up here at the top. There's Google Plus, Search, which is where you search everything. Uh, YouTube is part of these suite of tools, and another one is Google Analytics. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, search within a Google search bar for Google Analytics. I did that, and then one of the first ones that comes up is google.com forward slash analytics. We're gonna click on that one. And for me, I'm gonna be logging into an account that I already have, but for you guys, I'll take you through how you sign in. So um, you guys would click on create an account. Okay, create an account. It's really easy, go through, follow those steps that come up there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. <coughs> okay, 
So after you've created your account, you'll come to a page that looks kind of like this, Accounts Home. But um, I have a bunch of other sites here that I'm tracking, so that doesn't really matter to you guys. What matters is how do you get started and set up your first one. So in this one, you're going to click on Admin in the top right-hand corner, okay, over here in the top, in the right, you're going to click on Admin, <coughs> excuse me, and then you're going to click on New Account. And what that means is this is going to set up kind of a, it's like a folder, you know, in a drawer, right? So this whole drawer is where all your analytics data is going. And now we're setting up just kind of one folder where we're going to be tracking one website. So think of it this way, that this is one website. So the account name is really anything that you want to give it. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's just it, it just helps you identify what it is. So in this case, you could put uh, my Sensi site. Now, the website URL, you're going to click uh, HTTPS, okay? And then you're going to put your corporate website URL. So in this case, for Naomi, it is Naomi chen.sensi.us okay so notice it says HTTPS in the beginning oh, that's not good what happened to Sensi Air wow. Sensi's website's down maybe Let's see what's happening okay there we go all right don't know what happened okay but notice it says HTTPS right here in the beginning so you want to have that okay and then you're going to grab everything else copy it and you're going to come back over and you're going to paste it right in there. Paste. So notice in the beginning here in this drop down menu, it had https colon slash slash. So I didn't bring that over. I just brought Naomi Chen uh, .sensi .us, Sensi Home. Okay, that's that's essentially her website. <clears throat> and so for you, you guys would put your website there. Uh, you choose your time zone. So we're in Pacific. We have that. Industry category doesn't really matter. It just helps them kind of classify your site. It, it doesn't affect anything though. Um, here, uh, your data sharing settings. Lots of different opinions about this. Um, I don't really know the clear answer. So if you want to keep them, that's fine. If you want to um, not. But essentially what it's saying is that you are allowing Google to take your data anonymously and share it in other repositories where they talk about user activity. Um, and so it, it won't ever be linked to you or to your site, but you're generally sharing uh, your user activity. So if you don't want to do it, just deselect them. Uh, then you have the terms of service. Yes, I agree. And you create account. Okay, so once you create account, I'll take you over to the next step on uh, what we do once we have that account. So I have here a list of all the different accounts um, that we have. And your your one will will list over here, okay? So Naomi Chen dot Sensi dot US, and uh, yeah, <clears throat> okay. So um, so I clicked on uh, Naomi Chen dot Sensi dot US, and I got to it by over here on the top left, top left. You have this whole account list right here, and I clicked on uh, the one that was Naomi Chen dot Sensi dot US, and I clicked on the um, the little paper icon that's over on the right. I clicked on that. Now what we want is we want this property you this property ID. We want that property ID right there. In my case it starts with UA. Uh, yours may start with a couple letters as well, but it should show up right under the profile. We want property ID, okay, because that's what we're going to put over into our uh, workstation. So let's go over to our workstation and I'll actually close this out and uh, just log in from here. Oops. Okay, so come down to the bottom. We're going to log in. If this works. Okay, so from the workstation, we're going to click on account. Okay. Now, under the account tab, you have all of your different websites that you have up, right? So Naomi signed up for Sensi, Bellata, Grace Adele, okay? You would want to set up a separate account within Google Analytics for each one of those. This one code is not going to track, you know, like the Velada one. Notice because the URL is different, right? 
all we put in was Naomi Chen.cincy.us, and then we have Naomi Chen Velada, Naomi Chen Grace Adele. So if you wanted to track your Velada page and your Grace Adele page, you would create that new account like we did just for this one. Okay, but in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Edit Personal Website. Notice this tab right here says My Analytics. You're going to click on My Analytics, and sure enough, you're going to take that little code, so the same profile code that we got from Google Analytics, the UA169, whatever, whatever, that same code, you're just going to copy, oops, <clears throat> copy it, and you'd come right over and you'd paste it right there just like that same thing and then you would click save okay now it may take um, it may take just a minute or it might take a few minutes but essentially Google's server is gonna start talking to this website and eventually they're gonna link up and then they're gonna start sharing data it may not be instantaneous but you'll know it because you'll come back over to, um, you'll go to uh, home, okay, and this dashboard right here, because we were looking at naomi.sensi.us, this home essentially is the dashboard of this data. So when you start seeing the data here, you'll know that it's linked up together, okay? So if it's not, then um, Google Analytics will say, I'm not receiving data. So um, somewhere in that process, something got messed up. I would just go back. I would get that uh, user code again, and we got that by just clicking on here on the left, and we went to that little paper icon, okay? And um, I would click on that. I get that code again, and I just try it again because really, that's that's the only that's the only thing that's involved. Um, so <clears throat> one other thing I wanted to show you, which would be really helpful, is we need to set up what's called a filter um, because we don't want you visiting your own website to skew the numbers. Okay, We don't want that to get tracked. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, set up what's called a filter in order to block that out. Okay, So the way that we get to that filter is you're going to click on admin. Okay. And you want to make sure that you're looking at the, the one account that you have, which in this case you should. It should be the only one that you have. And then we're going to click down here again. We're going to click on the left over here we're on the account list. And then we're going to click on that piece of paper again. Okay, And it brings us to, and so I got to that, the, the whole thing. I clicked on admin, and that brought me to um, the... Naomi, Naomi Chen.sensi.us page and then I clicked over here on the far left on the account list and then I clicked on this piece of paper okay. and that brought me to this page right here and you'll notice along the top we have users and goals and filters we want to we want to check filter okay and you'll notice I have a bunch of filters set here I had a Odesk I hired some workers to do uh, some outsourcers to do some work on Naomi's site so I filtered out their web traffic because I didn't want that to because they weren't gonna go buy anything so I didn't want that to skew the numbers um, my uh, IP address <clears throat> is the way that we're gonna filter it here but I had my IP address in Afghanistan so when I was deployed I didn't screw up Naomi's numbers there um, and so now I have our home IP address okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an IP filter for your house. So you're going to click on new filter and it's going to say create a new filter so you'll select that. The filter name so it could be um, home IP or it could be you know whatever whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter it's just something so that you know what it is. And We're going to use a predefined filter okay exclude that's default traffic from and we're going to choose IP address Okay, traffic from IP address. You have a bunch of different options, but in this case, what we care about is uh, our IP address. It's one way that we're going to uniquely identify us as a user that are equal to. Okay, now the the easiest way to find out what your IP address is is you just go into Google, <clears throat> a blank search, uh, blank search screen. Okay, so right here in Google. 
I would just type in what is my, and I would type in IP address. So what is my IP address? And it would come right up, okay? So um, you would take those numbers and you would put them in these blocks just like it is here. So in this case, it says 74125. I would type in 74125. 19103 and I just got that from the example that's down below it but if that's if that was yours that's how you would do it a lot of cases they're going to have four digit or <coughs> <coughs> excuse me you're going to have four sections of numbers 2 3 2 and 3 and you put it in just like this don't worry about, don't worry about IPv6 it doesn't matter so just IP address and then click save and now you would have a, a new filter that essentially is telling Google disregard what a computer does from that IP address. So that will cover every computer in your house, most likely. Um, and so that way, when you're going and looking around your site, looking for answers or things like that, you're not skewing your data because uh, you're not really a visitor that's going to go by or you're not a visitor that you care about. Okay. So I hope this answers the questions on uh, what Google Analytics is. And so essentially it is a tracking tool that tracks all the activity that uh, a user does when they come to their site. The reasons why you'd want to have Google Analytics is because uh, if you're running YouTube videos, you want to know who and how many is coming uh, from YouTube, okay? and how are they getting over to my site? So is are YouTube videos driving people to my site? If the answer is yes, that's great. But if you're not making any sales, then you need to figure out, okay, they're coming to my site, but then they're leaving. So why are they leaving? And you can look and see kind of, you know, how that works out. So you want to basically know what are people doing and how are they finding my website and what are they doing when they get to my website? And then we went over how to um, set up the account and how to link your Google Analytics account over to your Sensei workstation. At this point, um, Google Analytics is a really robust tool. The fact that Google gives this away for free is really awesome, but it's a very robust tool. So what I would recommend is that you go over to YouTube and just start typing in Google Analytics tutorials. Google and uh, Linux Tutorials 2012, okay? And I would just start watching a bunch of these and just start getting familiar with it, um, how it works, why you'd want to use it. And, um, you know, there's some basic things that you can do kind of right off the bat that is predominantly what you'll use it for. And a lot of these videos are great, right? So I would check that out. And if you guys have any questions, please uh, just put them over in the Facebook group as a comment, and I will answer them as they come up. I hope that you found this helpful and that it answered your questions on how to get started with Google Analytics. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye-bye.